Which American presidents have had Scotch Terriers in the past? Watch till the end, and you will find out the answer. Because the Scottish Terrier was trained to hunt animals like badgers and foxes, this short-legged marvel has evolved into a self-directed and opinionated companion. Many dog enthusiasts like the Scottish independence and intellect, but others find the breed's aloofness unappealing. Hello and welcome to a channel about zoology in general and dogs specifically. My name is Bridazilla, and I'm one of the hosts of this channel. I'm going to provide you with all the information about the Scottish Terriers. If you like me, and the content about lovely animals please subscribe to my channel. I promise, if you stick to the end of this video you will learn a lot. Let's jump into the content right now. The Scottish Terrier is a compact dog with a vibrant personality, that is an independent, self-assured companion with a positive attitude. They're a true terrier, independent, bright, and amusing in their stately seriousness. Scotties have a dignified, human-like demeanor. The terrier's persistence has gained the breed worldwide acclaim. A short-legged, but strong terrier with distinctive furnishings of the beard, legs, and lower body, the Scotty profile is well known. Scotties are known for their efficient and businesslike work manner, as well as their aloofness towards strangers, which makes them great watchdogs. Scotties are known to be temperamental among other dogs, and their hunting urge stays strong, which might make life difficult for the neighbor's cat. Bold and smart Scotty enjoys fast walks and energetic games. They don't yap despite their size, instead, they produce a strong bark that can startle an unsuspecting burglar or delivery person. They are great in agility and earth dog trials. With one of these dogs around, your yard will be rodent-free, but keep an eye out for the holes they've dug. The Scottish Terrier is a little, short-legged dog with a strong, compact body. The average height is 10 inches. A male's weight ranges from 19 to 22 pounds, whereas a female's weight ranges from 18 to 21 pounds. Your Scotty won't run a marathon with you, in fact, they won't even go jogging with you, but they'll make an excellent strolling buddy. The eyes should be small, bright and piercing, and almond-shaped not round. They might be black, grayish-black, or even white in color. The ears should be small, prick, set well up on the skull and pointed, but never cut. They should be covered with short velvety hair. The Scottish Terrier's exterior coat is often rough and wiry, with a soft, dense undercoat. Grooming is required on a regular basis for Scottish Terriers. They have a hard, wiry outer layer and a dense, soft undercoat, making them a dual-coated breed. They should be stripped by hand if possible. The Scottish Terrier is a terrier in every sense of the word. He'll fight to the death if another dog provokes him. He leaves other dogs alone if they leave him alone. Starting when your Scotty is a puppy, it's crucial to enroll him in socialization classes. While he's young, inviting friends and family over or taking him to busy locations will help him overcome his fear of strangers. If left uncontrolled, this can develop into hostility as the dog matures, so begin teaching your Scotty puppy as soon as you bring him home. Because they were raised to operate independently of their owners and without needing direction, Scottish Terriers can be tough to train. A Scotty will not wait for you to tell him what to do next, instead, he will do it on his own. Scotties, on the whole, do not perform well in obedience rallies, however, there are outliers. This isn't to imply he's untrainable. Rather, his nature lends itself to working independently of his owners, as he frequently sets his own agenda. He struggles with aggressive training, since he has a soft heart that is quickly crushed if he sees mistreatment. Positive reinforcement is quite important to him. There are hard-headed, serious, energetic, and introverted Scottish Terriers, as well as lovely, playful, placid, and accepting of all people. Scottish Terriers require both exercise and play. They have a lot of energy and need to burn it off in short bursts. Tossing a ball or toy around for them to chase is a fantastic idea. All of that exercise will keep them in good shape and maintain a positive mindset. Scottish Terriers respond best to short training sessions of no more than 15 minutes. Be inventive and don't do the same thing every time you train. This breed is a thinker and they will not respond if bored. The farmers kept the canines who could figure things out on their own, not the ones who needed to be told what to do. Don't be surprised if they put you to the test. They have a strong sense of self-reliance. It's great if you make it appear as if it's their idea to accomplish something. They are quite sensitive to vocal tones and can tell why you are unhappy with your voice. The Scottish Terrier was originally bred to hunt and follow prey to the ground and he still retains that instinct today. Finding a designated digging place in your property is preferable to fighting an active and natural instinct. 
If not properly socialized as puppies, Scottish Terriers might be suspicious and aggressive against other dogs. Scotties are not little, low-energy dogs. They are working dogs with a lot of drive and intelligence that need to be channeled. They require moderate activity and stimulation on a daily basis. A Scotty might not be the dog for you if you want your dog to sit by your side rather than dig holes in your yard. Despite the fact that Scottish Terriers like exercise, they are not suggested as jogging partners. A small walk around the block can feel like a long-distance marathon to the Scottish Terrier, thanks to his short legs. A solid fence, not an electrical fence, should surround a Scotty's yard. It protects him from running out onto the street after cats, squirrels, bikes, and other moving objects. On trips, he should be leashed, because his chase instinct will urge him to chase after an animal or a scent. The Scotty isn't recommended for families with young children. He has been known to fight back against unwelcome prodding and pulling. The Scotty sheds very little, yet it requires a lot of grooming. Grooming monthly or daily in the case of show dogs is required to keep the coat in good condition. It should be clipped on a regular basis. Because of his size and activity requirements, the Scotty can live in a variety of settings, including apartments. 1 to 1.5 cups of high-quality dry food per day is the recommended daily amount of food for Scotties. If the Scottish Terrier's coat is healthy and grows uniformly, there is no dry, flaky skin or irritation, the eyes are bright, and there is no chewing or itching, the dog is probably eating a good food. Some experienced breeders have discovered that Terriers thrive on a moderate protein diet, mid-20% protein, with a bit of a supplement, such as canned food. Scottish Terriers are typically healthy, however they, like all dog breeds, are susceptible to some illnesses and ailments. Scotties live for 11 to 13 years on average. Despite being a long-established breed, the Scottish Terrier's past is a little murky and unknown. The origins of a breed as old as the Scottish Terrier are unknown and unclear. Don Leslie's book The History of Scotland 1436-1561, published in 1436, was the first documented account of a dog that resembled the Scottish Terrier. Sir Joshua Reynolds painted an image of a young girl caressing a dog that resembled the modern-day Scotty 200 years later. Scotland had a lot of terriers in the 1800s. The dogs were divided into two groups at the end of the century, the Dandy Dinmont Terriers and the Skye Terriers. Many dog writers after the early 19th century seemed to agree that there were two types of terriers in Britain at the time, the rough-haired Scotch Terrier and the smooth-haired English Terrier. Scotties were first introduced to America in the early 1890s, but the breed did not become popular until the years between World Wars I and II. In 1900, the Scottish Terrier Club of America, STCA, was founded, and in 1925, a standard was published. If you are still interested in answering the question about US residents, then here is the answer. Scottish Terriers have been loved by many, including Franklin Roosevelt and George W. Bush. There's no disputing that this fearless and exuberant little aristocrat of the canine world is admired, respected, and appreciated for all of his idiosyncrasies. Having a dog who is more of a companion than a servant can be a rewarding experience, but it is not for everyone. If you like a dog who is eager to please, a Scottish Terrier is not the breed for you. Thanks a lot for watching my dear friend. Please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Peace.